We're doing a misguided clothing haul today. I don't think I've ever done a misguided clothing haul on my channel, which is funny because it's one of my favorite online boutiques to shop from. If you've never shopped from misguided, the one thing that I'll tell you is the shipping is a little longer because it is coming from the UK to Australia. So it takes its time, but it is so worth it. Misguided is super affordable and has some of the most trendy, best quality, comfy clothes you'll ever fucking come across. Misguided just kills it when it comes to like joggers and leggings and just kind of like matching sets and stuff like that. You can buy like dressy clothes on there as well, but I like the comfy stuff. A few weeks ago, I just went on there and bought a bunch of comfy clothes. Some things I have already tried on, so I already have opinions on what I've bought. But yeah, I just wanted to sit down and show you guys some fucking cute outfits. You know what I'm saying? Also, if you're wondering, I'm wearing a tracksuit right now. This is from White Fox Boutique. Hun, this is everything and more. This is so fucking comfy. Quite expensive, not gonna lie, but totally fucking worth it. I'm all about the tie-dye life. I know this trend kicked off a little bit ago. I'm one of those people that takes a while to jump on trends. I jump on trends at the end of like the trend. And you'll see in upcoming clothing hauls and stuff like that, how much tie-dye, like track pants and stuff I've bought. Like there's a lot of it in here. Is this falling out of my ear? No. Without further ado, let's jump into this video. I want to show you this. Now, this is a butterfly choker. Now, I'm all about the butterfly life. I love butterflies. Um, one reason, they remind me of the emoji, and that reminds me of vagina flutters when I'm reading my romance novels. Also, I think butterflies are just super cute, and I know butterflies have been on trend lately. Anyway, this is a butterfly choker it's got like these really cute like diamantes and then the actual butterflies are really really blingy by the way ignore this situation i put way too much fake tan on my hands and now look at them i can't disguise it it's just orange it's a vibe an absolute fucking vibe if i do say so myself um that was the only piece of jewelry i got from misguided but so fucking worth it okay what's next what are we doing next? All right. Then I picked up this, which is literally just a crop top, <laughs> um, like a singlet crop top, but it's got the whole tie dye effect. And it's like this really nice kind of baby pink and purple color. It's super fucking pretty. I got this in, what size did I get this in? I got this in a size UK 12, so US 8. Um, and it fits perfect. Um, love it. Super comfy, super soft, and yeah, as I said before, really affordable. So to go with this, I picked up these. I'm a joggers girl, okay, hun? I wear track pants, joggers, trackies, whatever you want to fucking call them, all the time. Like, it's my go-to, always fucking wearing them. And I've been looking for the perfect nude jogger for the longest fucking time, and I finally found it. The one thing that I've really appreciated with uh, misguided track pants is the fact that they're super high-waisted. I always buy from like cotton on and stuff like that when it comes to my track pants and I always want them to be super high-waisted. But once I get them in the mail and I get them like on my bod, I'm like, this ain't high-waisted bitch. I need it to come up to like here. Why are you, why are you on my hips? That's not my waist. So I picked these joggers up. These are the basic jogger in the color stone. I got these in a UK size 10, so a US 6. So our sizing in Australia is the same as the UK too, by the way. Huh, huh. You'll see them in the trail section. They cuff at the bottom and they actually cuff at the bottom. So many joggers I buy and they're like not cuffing around my ankles. And I'm like, why are you doing that to me, hun? That's not what I asked for. They come up super high and they're quite fitted. They don't give me a camel toe. Thank you very much. They are so comfy. They're not thick, so you can kind of wear these in between seasons as well, which is great because I'm in spring, S spring now here in Australia, but we do get colder days and then we get warmer days. So having like joggers like this, you can alternate between the weather and the days and it's not an issue. Uh, yeah, so these, 10 out of fucking 10 if I had to give it a rating. Perfect pair of joggers, huh? Perfect pair of joggers. We love a good pair of joggers around here. 
don't get it twisted, okay? The amount of joggers and like just jumpers and track pants and all types of comfy clothes I've bought this year because of like isolation, unbelievable, unfucking believable. Then I've got this top here, which is literally the most basic thing ever and it's not steamed or anything, so it's all crinkled. This is just a plain t-shirt. I got it in a size medium. It's in the color green <laughs> um, and it's just a comfy tee, like just a lounge around tee. I just wanted a t-shirt and I like this color on the model. See, it doesn't look very flattering because of the fact that it's not steamed or anything, but you know, <clears throat> you win some and you lose some. Oh my God, this is one of my favorite items I think I've ever fucking purchased. So this reminds me of Skims, uh, Kim Kardashian's kind of like lounge wear range. I got this really adorable, really, really adorable crop top. It's in a size, let me check, 10 to 12. Bitch, this is so, so cute. And it's like the most perfect, my hair's a mess today, by the way. Um, ignore it. It's in the most perfect kind of like, snuggly comfy material it feels like a fucking blanket like are you kidding me this would be so cute with everything cute as fuck cute as fuck don't fuck with me look at it oh i love it it's so soft and snuggly and just adorable honestly adorable love ya so much sis I wanted to get like the matching pants because I'm pretty sure they had matching pants online, but I think they were out of stock. If you are a bodysuit wearer, you need to go to Misguided. They have some of the best and they fit amazing. So this bodysuit I got here is in a size 10 and it's a seam free scoop neck sleeveless bodysuit in light gray. And this is the color. It looks more purple on camera. Um, it is a bit of a high cut around the booty. So it's got like a G string moment going on which isn't my favorite but whatever um and it's really gorgeous it fits really well i don't wear body suits that often because i feel like you know hun i'm a chunky monkey and i don't say that to body shame myself i'm just stating facts i have a tummy i bloat very easy so crop tops and like body suits it's very rare that i find the right one that i can pull off um especially bodysuits, but this actually kind of sucks me in and it just sits really well around my boobs and stuff like that. And it's seamless, so it's like super comfy. So yeah, love the color. I love this color on me and especially if I do cool toned makeup. So I bought this to go with these. Now, I fucking love this next item, but the problem is the ankles. So we've got another pair of joggers here and these are the Coward Tie-Dye Oversized 90 Joggers in the color cream. These are in a size UK 10. I honestly could have gone an eight because they're very big. Um, and I don't know if this is the style. It's meant to be like this. Anyway, so they're white and like a light gray type of blue. They fit perfect and look amazing. But my pet peeve, the ankle, like the cuff around the ankle is super loose. As I said just before, I don't know if that's because of the actual, um, I don't know if that's because that's the style or what, but I would prefer it not to do that. But I'm still gonna rock the fuck out of it because it's super cute and these are real comfy. These are thicker than the other ones. As I said, they're oversized, so they're bigger, okay? But they're still like an, oh, an absolute vibe. Like there's no line about it. Okay, cute as fuck. <sighs> this little set I'm pissed off about because I really wanted it to look cute, but I should have got a size down. I'm just gonna wear them as pajamas, but this is a kind of mint green little legging and t-shirt set. Now it's ribbed, so you can see that there. I got it in a size 12, so I should have got a 10. I don't know why I got a 12 when I got all my pants in a 10, I'm not sure. Anyway, they come with leggings. Yeah, cute as fuck. A really nice, like oversized kind of top. Now, again, I should have got this in a 10 because I didn't realize it was gonna be so big. The leggings are literally like baggy on me and the top is as well. So I'm just gonna wear these as pajamas. I was gonna wear them out like as a set, but 
whatever, you know what I mean? If you want to get this set size down, I love this color of green. And if you're someone that has tan skin, like I mean, mm, I'm fake tan, but like if you're naturally like this shade or darker, like on the spectrum of skin tone, this green looks fucking fabulous on you, okay? I'm sorry, my pale bitches, but greens like this, mm, I don't think it's a vibe. I think it's better on tan skin, but again, you can wear whatever you want. I'm not telling you you can't wear the color if you like the color and you're fair. I just think it looks magnificent, delicious on tan, deeper skin tones. Anyway, don't know why I had to rant about that, but I just did. My hair, what is going on? It's not a vibe. It's just not a vibe at the moment. Let me take this out. Let me take this out. Now I'm all crinkly. Okay, whatever. We're having a little bit of a, like a, I've just crimped my hair moment, but we're just going to live with it. Okay, guys. So that is it for my misguided haul. I know it's short and sweet and only a small video, but I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. You know what to do. Thumbs it up before leaving. Don't forget to hit subscribe before clicking off the video because that's rude if you don't fucking subscribe. Don't skip my ads because that's fucking rude as well. And also the algorithm on YouTube is a bit whack at the moment. So if you haven't pressed the notification bell, please do because you might miss out on my videos and I would never want that to happen. If you press the notification bell, then you get notified every single time I upload. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.